All right guys, in this video we're gonna show you guys if you're importing from say a different location, from say like a hard drive, or maybe you're pulling your images from cards on the hard drive and then in the Lightroom, we're gonna show you the proper process to do that. Uh, now I'd highly recommend you guys follow this and we're gonna show you guys exactly why. So let's first pull up our little uh, finder or our explorer window. And what we're gonna do is create two windows, put them side by side so we can see kind of two different locations. Now, let's say that this is our card drive, and what we want to do is, even though you know we don't typically recommend this, but let's say you guys do want to drag and drop onto your hard disk and then pull them into Lightroom later on. This is the system that we'd recommend for you guys to use. So let's say we want to drag and drop them onto the desktop. What I would do is go into the desktop, create your folder here. So we're going to say this folder is going to be called just uh, temporary import. Okay, we're going to jump into there. And what I would recommend is you guys divide up every single card into different folders. So we're going to put card one. This is for memory card one. And then we're going to drag and drop, you know, everything from card one into this folder. And you guys can just, well, like, well, this is just an example. We're not pulling everything because it's going to take forever to transfer. So we're going to say drag and drop these into, into card one. You're going to load in your next card and you're going to do the same thing. It's going to be card two. Okay. And then you're going to make your selection from card two. Uh, you're going to Typically, you're going to select all your photos from each card, drag and drop it in, okay? Next time, and you'll notice, guys, that I'm actually making duplicates right now. So some of them are new, some of them are duplicates, and this is why we're going to recommend the system. So then we're going to go on to, say, card three and so on. You're going to keep going to card four until you get all of the images from every one of your cards imported. Now, what this does is, like we said before, there is no way for your file system to be able to tell if an image is a duplicate if or not. Okay, If the file name is the exact same, it's going to be treated as a duplicate. And Windows or Mac is going to ask you if you want to replace, copy, or overwrite, or do you want to change the names or whatever when you're bringing it in and copying it from the card. Okay, that, Now the problem with that is if it's not a duplicate and you end up replacing it, well then you've deleted you know, the images that are originals and you've replaced it with other images. If they are duplicates, then you just end up creating, uh, you know, using up extra space on your hard drive for duplicate images. So this is why we're going to organize it in all these different cards. And what we're going to do is we're going to let Lightroom decide after we get all of our cards in. So let's keep going. Let's go say card five. We'll say that there's a total of six cards on this shoot. And they came from, say, a few different cameras. We'll go down here and we'll pull some from here, drag it in. And, I'm, and once again, guys, the example here is we're pulling it all from the same card, but I want you to think of, you know, basically what we're doing every single time is pulling it from different cards. So with each one of these, we're ejecting the card after it finishes. We're getting a new card and importing everything from that new card right into these folders. Okay, so we notice that each card has images in it. Uh, and we'll, you also probably know now that I've also selected duplicates and threw them in there as well. All right, so now we have everything separated into the different folders. Now we're going to go into our Lightroom catalog. We're going to go back to import. And what we're going to do is we're going to select our source. The source is on the desktop, and it's in a file uh, called temporary import. We're going to say include subfolder, so it reads every subfolder underneath. Okay. So say include subfolders. Whoops, it's freezing up for a second. Okay, it brings up a little thing that says subfolders are now included. You can say don't show again because we really don't care. All right, hit OK. And what we're going to do is check this out. It's automatically detecting that there are uh, duplicate images in these folders. And it will not import those duplicate images. So what we do is since we're on the hard drive now, what we're going to do is move these to the correct location. And so we select move. We choose our standard import preset once again. And then we just select the destination of where we want this to go. So once again, it's that same catalog. And then we click import. Now with this unchecked, you'll see all the other duplicate images will actually be moved as well. Okay, so let's check that again. So it doesn't import the suspected duplicates. We're going to hit move. And it's going to move all those files from one location on the hard drive to the other. That way it's Lightroom that's handling the, the moving of everything. And what we do now at this point is I'm going to hit Windows D to go back to the desktop. And then we're just going to go to this temporary import folder. And we can delete this entire folder now because we know that Lightroom has imported every unique image from these folders. So whatever is left, these are the duplicate files. Okay, And these can all be removed because we have everything moved to the correct location now. All right, guys, so from here, we just take this temporary import folder, we drag it into the recycle bin, and we're done.
this is how we would import off of uh, any location that's basically other than a CF card. Any hard drive location, we're transferring everything from our cards into separate folders. Then we let Lightroom move everything into the correct folder that we want it. And then we delete whatever's remaining to make sure that everything else is removed from the hard drive. All right, guys, let's go on to the next tutorial.